it, you have to have this um, assurance. <laughs> I always say this. Is it something when you hope? Me, there's a God I just hope and pray that's going to pass. It's something when you got faith, God, I just believe you. But when you know that you know that you know God got you. Ever, anybody ever been there before? Lord Jesus. Yea, though I walk through. Somebody say through. You know on the other side there's the promise. We, we can't um, allow our natural senses to overcome our spiritual senses. We're in this world. But we're not of this world and I think sometimes we allow being in this world to affect us and affect our faith uh, you know well you know I know I believe God but if it don't come to pass God understand I know God he wants to do exceedingly above but you have to get to a place that now I'm not gonna allow what the world says I'm not gonna allow what my thinking or my reasoning says I have to allow what God says come to pass I tell you that my slate has been wiped clean I have a new start. How many know when you when you worship from that place? It's a different place. God, my slate has been wiped clean. God loves me so much that His mercies are new every morning. Every day I wake up as a fresh start. How many know as believers we gotta really take that in? Cause sometimes we wake up thinking about the same thing we thought about three years ago. Every single day we still in bondage when God has already set you free. His saving grace, his saving faith. It's a supernatural faith that delivers you, that sets you free. And us as believers, we gotta get back to what it's God that kept us. How many when when you had nobody, you believed God? It was it was only God that set you free.